Hello friends. In this video, we will learn how to make a cool geofencing project using SIM800L, GPS module and Arduino. This project constantly checks if the object is within the fence. And when the object go outside the fence, it immediately send an alert message to your mobile phone. Let's understand what is geofencing. Geofence is a virtual geographic boundary or a fence defined by GPS technology. It enables software to trigger an alert when an object enters or leaves a particular area. In this project, I am using circular geofence technique. This technique works on the initial position and maximum distance. And the resulting geofences look like a circular shape. The project continuously calculate the current distance from the initial position of the object. And then it checks if the current distance is exceeded from the maximum distance. And if that's the case, then it's mean that the object is outside the fence. So, the project will send an SMS alert to your phone along with the location of the object. Next, let's look at the wiring diagram. First here. I have connected piezo buzzer to Arduino pin 4. Here is the GSM module. I have connected its TX and RX pins to Arduino pin 2 and pin 3. And for GPS module, I have connected its TX and RX pins to Arduino pin 8 and pin 9. And for powering the whole project, I have used 3.7 volts battery. Next, here I have already connected the components on the breadboard as per circuit diagram. And for uploading the code, I am powering the Arduino using USB port instead of battery. Next, let's have a look at the code. You can download the code from the description. Here, first you need to install Tiny GPS++ library and Alt Soft Serial library. You can install them from the library manager. Here, Search for Alt Soft Serial. Here you can see the library developed by Paul Stoffregen, and I am using version 1.4.0. Next, search for Tiny GPS Plus Library. Here you can see the library developed by Mikkel Hart, and I am using version 1.0.3. Next, here you need to enter the phone number with country code. The Geofence SMS alerts will be received on the phone number you have entered here. Next below. Here I have defined RX and TX pins for SIM 800 LGSM module. And below, I have defined RX and TX pins for Neo 6 AM GPS module. Next, here I have defined the buzzer pin for alarm. Then, I have set the maximum distance that the project can go without raising the alarm. Set the distance in meters. I have set it to 30 meters for testing. I have tested it for 500 meters and it works fine. If you increase the maximum distance, then the fence area will increase. And if you decrease the maximum distance, then the fence area will also decrease. Next, you will have to set the initial position of the project by entering initial latitude and longitude values. You can get them from Google Maps. Here, just click on the location that you want to set as initial position. And a pop-up will appear below. You just click on the pop-up. And here, you can see the latitude and longitude. The first value is latitude. And the second value is longitude. You just need to paste them in the code. Here, enter them in initial latitude and initial longitude variables. Next, here I have declared two variables to store the current latitude and longitude data. Next, in the setup function, I have started the serial communication with computer, SIM800L, and GPS module. Next, these commands will initialize the SIM800L GSM module. Next below in the loop function, I constantly get the current GPS location using get GPS function and then calculate the distance between the current location and the initial location using this get distance function. I have defined this function below. This function is using the Haverzine formula. 
This is a well-known formula used to calculate the distance between two GPS coordinates. Let's move back to the loop function. After calculating the distance, I am comparing it with the maximum distance. If the current distance exceeded the maximum distance, then it's mean that the object is outside the fence. So, the project will turn on the buzzer and then send an SMS alert to your phone using this send SMS alert function. Next, this block of code turn off the buzzer after 5 seconds. Next below, this block of code is used to test 80 commands using serial monitor. Now, the code is ready. You just select your board and COM port from the tools menu. And then you need to upload the code to your microcontroller. After uploading the code, just disconnect the USB from Arduino Nano. And then, connect the 5 volt spin of Arduino to the positive wire of the battery. This way, you can power the whole project using a single battery. Now, your project is ready. And you can take it with you anywhere. You can also take the project for a short walk and see if it raises the alarm and sends an SMS alert to your phone when the project is outside the fence. Let's understand what this project cannot do. First, this project can only sends an SMS alert and raises an alarm when the object go outside the fence. And when the object again enter inside the fence, then it will not send any alert SMS. Second, you cannot track the object in real time on Google Maps. I have planned to improve this project in future. So stay connected and give me the suggestions in the comment section. So, I can take this project to the next level. Bye.